Hey guys, so I'm going to try to explain this without rambling or tearing up. Um, so yeah, I've been having a pretty shitty past, I would say past few weeks, um, just career-wise, I would say. And um, I felt like giving up so many times. So many times I felt like just giving up and starting over and doing something else with my life. But today I decided that I would take sort of my sadness and my anger out and I would create a video. I wanted to do a really pretty cranberry grungy sort of makeup look. So I filmed the tutorial, I did all of the, you know, I took the photos and uh, before and afters and everything and it was flawless. So I take the memory card, put it in my computer, well, before I even get it to my computer, I don't even know what happens, I stick it in my computer and it's completely unreadable. So basically 64 gigs worth of data is just gone, completely wiped out. And then it was then at that point that I said, you know, fuck this, just fuck it all. Fuck this, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. But then I realized, okay, you know what? Never been a quitter. It's just, it's not in me. So, I'm gonna take what I have and work with that. So, I'm gonna attempt to sort of recreate this look. I'm gonna do something I've never done. I'm gonna try to recreate this look with the makeup still on because I can't, I'm not gonna, you, oh god, you guys don't know how long it took me to film this tutorial. This probably probably took me the longest I've ever taken to film just because I wanted to make sure it was right. I wanted it to be really good. So, fuck this. I'm gonna show you exactly what it is that I did. So, I started out, I just primed my face, um, my usual primer, and then I applied um, my usual primer. Then for my eyelids, I primed it with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, um, just all over the lid. And then I started to pack on eyeshadow. So I used the Sephora Red Wine, and it's just so beautiful. Sephora Red Wine, and I just took a flat sort of shader brush, and I packed that on. Just like that, all over the lid, up to the crease. So let me zoom in. Up to the crease. So I packed as much as I could just to get some real rich sort of pigmentation. And then I took MAC, this is Saddle, right here. It's normally like my transition shade. I like it because it makes everything nice and warm. So uh, it was just a fluffy brush. Took a little bit of MAC Saddle, and I applied that to the crease. And that was just to help me um, to blend out those shadows. Then I also took MAC Saddle underneath my eyelid, and I really blended that low. So I, I smoked it out as much as I possibly could. Just like that. And then I did sort of this rounding motion there. And then I also took the red wine. And I applied that underneath my lash line as well. So just right underneath there. So after I was done with that, I used the Bobbi Brown Long Wear. These are the shadow sticks. And I love these because they're so creamy. Um, this is in Bark. So I applied that just to the outside corner of the eyes and then I took a flat shader brush and then I just blended that just right along the lash line. Then I also took some underneath right here just to further smoke out the outer corner. I'm actually reapplying this too because I cried most of it off before I realized that I was just going to go on here <laughs> and and just tell you guys what I did. So after I did that part, then um, I applied the Butter London. This is the Wink Eye Pencil in uh, Union Jack Black. I did my tight line, so I did up in here, and then I also did the bottom lash line, but I didn't go completely into the corner because I just wanted to um, leave a little bit of lightness. Then I applied the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow, so it's a duo that I purchased. I got these two in a set. And uh, this one is called Sunlight Gold. So I applied the Sunlight Gold right to the lower lash line. 
and then right in the inner corner then I took my pinky and I just pressed it in I can zoom in a little bit more can't I and then I just pressed that in so it just brings a little bit of lightness to the inner lash to the inner corner well, inner lash line my lashes are probably like going crazy anyway all right and then once I did that I just applied a little bit of mascara well actually I applied a lot of bit of mascara I used the Bobbi Brown smoky eye mascara this is just a sample of it um I can't find my larger this is like my the one I put in my purse but I just apply that to the top and the bottom and then I applied some Lily lashes so these are the Lily Galici Istanbul lashes they're like my absolute favorites so I applied some of those I hope they're not like coming off because I cried them off <laughs> and then um once I had my lashes and everything done I applied my concealer so I just did my usual. It's the NARS Creamy Concealer. This isn't custard. I prefer ginger, but this is what I have right now. So I just applied custard right to my under eyes. I went into my forehead, my chin, and my nose. And then I just buffed that in. I used my finger, actually, for my under eye. And then the rest, I just used a regular face brush. And then I set the lighter areas with... Um, medium golden from MAC just to warm it up because custard's a little bit pinky so it's a little bit more cool toned and then for foundation I used uh, Borghese and this is in the shade Cafe but I only applied the foundation here and then around the rim of my face so I didn't apply foundation everywhere and then I set all of that with my MAC Studio Fix powder and this is in C6 once I had my foundation set, then I applied the Trustique. So this is a color um, and contour cheek pencil. Just in here. So I went right here with this cheek stick, a fluffy brush, and I blend it up and down. I did sort of smaller circular motions um, just so that way it sort of blends and I don't get a harsh line and I love this cheek I love the I love cream contours I think they're a lot more natural than just like a powder and then for blush I used uh, the Borghese blush and stunner so it's a pretty sort of rosy pinky gold um, it has a like, gold flex in it and I just took an angled blush brush and applied it to the apples going up And then I highlighted with a little bit of MAC Soft and Gentle. So I used the same blush brush and I just applied that tops the cheekbones. Then I went down the bridge of my nose, the tip, and then right at my lip. And then lastly to finish off the lips, I applied, um, so I actually mixed two lip colors together. So this is the Sephora Pantone Universe. Um, it comes from the Marsala Layering Lip Collection, and this is in Dusty Cedar. So, I apply that to my lips first. So, I got something like that. And then I just layered my MAC taupe right on top. So it's just a brownier looking shade. Then I like to just take a tissue and blot that out so I just have a hint of color without being, you know, too... You get what I mean? And then, oh, and then for brows, I just applied um, dip brow and dark brown just to my brows. I mentioned in my um, on my Instagram that I was growing my brows out um, so yeah this is basically the new shape of my brows right now which I actually like I really actually like them and that is the finished look so this is basically what had me in tears but I really 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 liked this look and I was just so sad that all of my hard work literally went to waste and not just this video but all the other videos that I filmed that haven't been edited yet those are all gone so <sighs> whatever I will breathe but at least I salvaged this one 
So yeah, thank you guys so much for sort of bearing with my little tutorial impromptu thing, but yeah, I just really wanted to show this look and I was really excited about it and just so sad that it literally went to the trash. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and until next time.